I now have After Effects opened. So um, going to import files. Grab our horse textured. Grab the other one. Uh, actually, horse texture dot obj, and okay. Um, need to interpret this footage. Okay, so it won't give me frame rate because it's not a video. <laughs> so, also going to bring in our textures. Um, just those two and new composition so making sure that Atom Craft is select as our renderer and bring in our OJ right into our comp so there it is. And uh, we also need the video uh, for our background. So that's right in this folder. So throw that on underneath. And we'll turn this off for now. Uh, before I start uh, tracking this footage, I want to put it into a pre comp. I'll rename horse in uh call it background plate and let's use our synthetic aperture plugin oh and before i forget oh uh, it's also a good idea in this case to uh, switch our comp. No. Nope. Yeah. S set the uh, bits per channel to 32 bit. And part of what they'll do is allow our plugin to work in a 32 bit color space. So 
Let's warm it up a little bit. Yeah, and then it doesn't have this image doesn't have very much contrast. So I just want to boost this somewhat. Let's see. Yeah, and then we can kind of darken these shadows. Alright, so that's pretty good. And uh, just for while we're tracking, I want a blur. Uh, just a fast blur. Not that. Fast blur. Okay. And this should help our track go a little more smoothly. And 3D camera tracker. So I'll pause this while it tracks. Okay, so it gave us an average error of 1.46, which is almost double what it was before. So we know that this can't be right. So I'll type in 46.4. Um, Okay, uh, camera's restyled, and it's a lot, a lot better uh, because we used the uh, adjusted field of view for um, the uh, camera, camera's uh, crop sensor, but it's still not as good as what we had before. So it seems to be best if we just let After Effects. Uh, calculate uh, on its own. Alright, so uh, we've done our best to refine the focal length and uh, now I'm going to see if we can check the detailed analysis and uh, find a better solution that way. Uh, I'll just pause this while it uh, retracts our scene, which is going to take a lot longer, and hopefully we can get a better result though. Now the uh, the detailed analysis uh, really um, didn't. Uh, Help, help it any. Uh, we have a slightly poorer uh, camera solve. So Adobe should probably rename this feature to uh, junk analysis. Unless I'm just not reading this right and um, it's actually a more accurate solve. Just doesn't read that way. Don't really know. All 
Alright, we're now done with the tracking part and we can go on to setting up our camera and so forth. Now, what's going to be kind of tricky here is that this um, uh, this ground here is not really flat and so when we're setting up our ground plane uh, we want to be kind of careful on how we do this but uh, I think I'm going to uh, place the model about here so grab these points that looks good right click and create shadow catcher camera and light grab our shadow catcher and scale this up by like a thousand uh, Yeah. And that doesn't uh, look correct. So delete that. And let's try again. Now just scale this up again. And uh, maybe call that good enough. Yeah, I don't think that's really too bad. Uh, yeah, now what we need to do is uh, make this OBJ uh, visible again, uh, make it 3D, make it way smaller. Actually, I'm going to cancel, cancel all these position values. And what I want to do is go back to the camera tracker and find a null, or not a null, but a, uh, a tr uh, track about. right here. Right click create null and now that we have this track null I can parent um,
Let's see. Yeah, grab the pick whip and parent to snow. If I hold shift, that just moves our layer to the null and it's all good. Okay, looks like a good, decent sized horsey to me. Now, what we also need to do is go to Atomcraft, grab our basic material, and put that on. Now, I'm only giving a basic overview of the features in Atomcraft. Uh, if you want to find out more, uh, check out my Intro to Atomcraft se series of tutorials. And uh, I think I have my textures here and set this diffuse texture to the color and yeah there's our color mapped onto the horse. Grab an atom displacement. And okay. Um, now we set this texture input to the body bump. And let's see how that looks. Give it a minute to update. Okay. Yeah. And for reasons unknown, uh, the UVs keep showing up. Still haven't figured out the reason for that. So let's just preview the effect that we're getting. And I think that looks pretty good. I think Atomcraft really needs to work, or uh, Jupiter Jazz, the makers of Atomcraft, need to work on these uh, artifacts and how the uh, the model just seems to grow when you put a displacement on it. Uh, but that's our displacement uh, texture right there. And turn down the effect a little more if I want. And if I set it to geometry, 